AI, the brand new and revolutionary digital album from Paradise Decay, is now available on Bandcamp. Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. It's that time of the year again, it's October, it's Halloween. I'm currently going through a nightmare myself with my eyesight. Sadly I can't jump into VR, I can't show you any new VR horror games. I'm going to pick some of my favourite all time horror games from the past. I do have a lot of new subscribers so some of you guys will have never seen these games anyway. I know you guys have been enjoying my content. I hope you enjoy this mini series. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the videos. I'll see you later. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. You might have seen the latest news. Dead Space is getting a remaster and it's been done by Motive. Motive brought us Star Wars Squadrons, which is a, an amazing VR game. Motive, if you're watching this video, please, 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 VR support. Horror games in VR are the best way to play horror games. Pancake games, don't cut it anymore. In this video I'm going to show you how to play the original Dead Space in VR, which is still the best way to play the game. And I'm using a program called Vorpex. You will need a few extra programs to get this to work guys. So I'm going to show you step by step how to get this running in VR with Vorpex and how to get the an amazing FOV. Vorpex has had a major update and it's working really really well guys. The first thing you need to do, you need to play the game at least once. Go onto the options menu and make sure you select window mode. Then quit the game. Now you need to go to this website. It's on GitHub. And you need to download the widescreen fixer. Once you've downloaded it, unzip it guys and you should have these files here. And we're going to do that in a bit. First we need to uh, boot up Vorpex, there's a profile for the game, my good friend Vran has made a new profile for the game, so boot up Vorpex, go to the cloud profiles and type in dead space, scroll down until you find Rainmate, that's uh, Vran's profile on Vorpex, select this profile, select import settings and then apply. Now he's also made, there's also profiles for Dead Space 2 and 3. Once you've applied it, start the game and it should boot up in Vorpex guys. Okay, you can see the Vorpex logo here, look. I'm recording my desktop at the moment because I want to show you the, uh, the FOV fixer working. And I'm playing the game with the Xbox controller. You can play the game with the mouse and keyboard. Press any key. And we're going to start a new game. I do believe that VR games are harder than pancake games, so I'm going to play the game on easy mode. Okay, so let me check my headset. And I can see it's in 3D already. So the uh, 3D is working, guys. So let me record what I can see in my headset for now. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. So at the moment, guys, I'm looking at a giant 3D screen. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times wow. have you watched that thing? Guess okay, this still it. looks amazing. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. I can see the uh, 3D depth as well. Like you do have a lot of catching up to do. 3D is working really well. Right, everyone, we're here, sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Now this is like a cutscene, but I can still control the uh, character. Space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Each is seven is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. 
So we're going to do the uh, intro guys, get so to the main part of the game, and then we're going to add the FOV fixture. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures are go. Okay, that's not good. Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tether is damaged. Switch to manual now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No, we can make it inside. Corporal, gave you an order. Field too strong. Everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now, this looks down, amazing, guys. It really does. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any. To say it's an old game. Booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. Old games in VR, guys, with Vorpex still look amazing. They look like modern day VR games, they really do. Okay, so now I've got control of my character. Okay guys, so now we've got the game up and running, we're going to apply the fix. When you first um, download and install this, you might get a warning from Windows. Your voice checker might pop up. Don't worry guys, there's a false alarm. Uh, this file's been checked, it's safe. I also know lots of people who've um, checked it as well, it's running fine, so don't worry about it. So I run the file. Now make sure in the settings, uh, this hotkey by default is set to the uh, multiply symbol. I've changed it to the uh, space bar. Okay, now we need to um, select the game. So select Dead Space 1. The game is running, yes. Fix enabled, not yet. So you need to hit the uh, gear icon here. Make sure you select the correct version of the game. I'm playing the Origin version, so select Origin. Uh, these are the FOV fixes lock. And you can see it changing there on the box. So save those settings. Now when we go back to the game, press the space bar. And as you can see guys, the uh, FOV fix is working. I've got a much better field of view which is perfect for VR. If I go back to the uh, fixer here look, you'll see the FOV change if I move this look. So that's the default FOV which is terrible for VR. And with the fixer working, that is perfect. That makes the game so much more playable guys. Okay, I'm going to record my desktop. So you get a really nice uh, image to watch. We're going to play the game. I'm using the Xbox controller. Now you can play this game in immersive screen mode or cinema mode. 
immersive screen mode is a big giant 3D cinema. Imagine going to the pictures to watch a 3D movie. That's what it's like to play this game in VR with Warpex. So it's like having a giant 3D cinema screen in front of you. Playing it in cinema mode, you're sat on a couch in a real 3D house and in front of you is a giant 3D 4K monitor guys. Experiment with the settings guys. Um, in the immersive screen mode, if you think the screen's too far away, in Vorpex you can bring it forwards. I tried it in full VR mode, I did not like it. It was a bit jarring for me. Uh, but this is working fine, look. I'm controlling the uh, camera behind Isaac. I'm going to record some gameplay guys. I'm going to tell you what I can see. The uh, FOV fix really makes the 3D stand out. You get really nice 3D depth. If it's too much for you, come back and change the uh, field of view on the fixer. Okay guys, so let's uh, let's play the game. Let's have some fun. Okay, let me show you the settings I changed for the game before we uh, start to explore. Let me just go outside the ship. Okay, let me bring up the uh, settings menu. You didn't lose power to the port booster. Okay, options menu. Visuals, I changed uh, full screen on, VSync off. Advanced settings. Everything's on unlock. I've left everything alone for now, guys. It's working fine. It looks amazing. If you have any uh, graphical issues in the game, start to turn some of these off. Uh, motion blur, for one example. Turn that off. Okay, let's resume the game. This looks incredible in 3D. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. Okay, unlock the door. That's not good. Okay, I forgot how scary this game is. <laughs> 3D is amazing, guys. The atmosphere is amazing.
This is super cool, guys. Okay, got a weapon now. Front stomp. Okay, we can stomp, grab the items. This is my main weapon, it's like a, a cutter weapon guys, we can change the angle. Okay, we need to cut that. Oh dear. Stay back, oh crap, that made me jump. These look so cool in VR guys. Stomp it. Stomp. Kill it. This game is a different beast in VR. The 3D. Motive games, you need to play this game in VR. The atmosphere, everything's just oozing. Quality guys, this is superb. And this used to be a scary game, pancake mode, so God only knows how scary this game would be in VR, left or right, what's down here? Oh crap. <laughs> I've got goosebumps already. I've got chills guys. Collect and use health packs to replenish your health bar. Health bar button, okay. Around the ship. Stay away from Get back. Get back. So this is very similar to if you played Alien Isolation this has got the same type of look and style to it. The only difference is guys in Alien Isolation you was inside the world because I'm playing this on a 3D screen I'm not actually inside the world but I can tell you right away guys your brain soon forgets you're playing this on a 3D screen you tend to um, filter out the side of the uh, screen. So once you get absorbed in this game, you actually feel like inside the game. Isaac! Isaac! Yeah, this yeah, is amazing. Isaac, <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Save the game. Whether they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we got to repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're going to get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Okay. Let me save the game first. Always save the game. This game's really hard. Save the game. Okay, we need something for there. Let me um, check this computer here. Offline. Check the lockers. And this is running super smooth, guys. Maximum graphics. Okay, any bad guys in here? This is immersion overload. The effects from the lights. All the lights are in 3D. All the lighting effects. This is super cool. I think I'm going to play Dead Space 1, 2 and 3. All in Vorpex now. So if you don't see... Ooh. If you don't see any videos from me for a few weeks, you know why. 
this is creepy. Do I go this way or this way? Let me uh, smash that. Grab all the ammo. Is he dead? I don't trust that thing. No. He's dead. He's dead now. He was not dead. Okay, another save station. Save it. And like I said, you die really easy in this game, so always save the game. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs, grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut him apart. Yeah, awesome guys. When the, uh, even the sparks are in 3D. So if I stand here, those sparks are in my face. Isaac's in the middle of my screen and I can see right down in the distance over there. So that corridor feels like it's 500 feet long. And you don't get this um, sense of immersion playing this game pancake mode. Okay, we're going in here. I don't trust dead bodies. Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. By dismembering enemy limbs and doing extra damage. Okay, cut off the limbs quickly. I would not recommend you play this game in VR with Orpex on the normal FOV guys. You need that FOV trainer for this to work. This is a totally new game now. This is incredible. And the beauty of playing this game in this mode, you can sit down, just chill out and relax. Okay, this is where we pick up the uh, stasis. Pick up the stasis module. Okay, left trigger and X. There we go. Looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. I can't stress, guys, how amazing this feels. I've played this game before in 3D. It did not look as good as this guy's. That's all thanks to the new Vorpex profile and the FOV fix. The FOV fix is a game changer, it really is. The FOV fix will work for this game and Dead Space 2 guys. It will not work for Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3 to get the FOV you need to tweak some files and if you need a guide on how to do that I recommend you follow VRAN Check him out on YouTube, check him out on Twitter. He'll show you how to get Dead Space 3 working just as good as this game. Oh crap. Don't don't do that to me, game. This is too scary. I can hear something creeping around. I've got chills. Shit, I don't have a torch. What was that? This game is scary enough, I don't need darkness. Wow. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. My kids are off school for the next six weeks, guys, so... If you don't see any videos from me, my excuse is I'm doing things with the kids. You know better, you know I'm playing this game. And you know I'm playing Dead Space 2 and 3 in VR. Okay, activate. Crap, here comes my guy. 
shoot the legs off. Then stomp on them. Stomp on them, make sure they're dead. And if you stomp on them, sometimes they drop loot as well. So these uh, aliens can come out of the walls, guys. They come out of the walls, they're lot. So you never know where they're going to be. I'm grabbing all the money so that... Oh, crap! Stop it! Die! I thought this game was scary pancake mode. I've played all three games to completion in pancake mode. Our car rate is trashed. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the auto loader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the track, it's gonna jam up the whole system. This game in VR, in Vorpex, is a different beast. Ten times more scary now. Okay, we need to freeze this, don't we? Activate it. Okay. Retreating damage tram car. Please stand by. You did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. I'm scared of things uh, appearing behind me now in this game. Oh, there we go. Hey, dead. Don't get up. And the one thing in horror games that really, really scare me is the sound. If a horror game's got really good sound design, I find the sound to be a lot more scary than the actual monsters in the games. Okay, my health is full. We've done that uh, puzzle. Let's head back out. What the hell? Can I shoot it? He's gone. Is this open? Locked. If you got Vorpex, if you got this game, do yourself a favour. Let me save this now. Always save. Okay, have we been down here? Totally lost. Found the toilets. Grab the health. And this is still an all-time classic game. Grab all the ammo. This is my inventory. I can store health, bullets, stasis fluid. This is the map. My mission status. And these are my... Uh, Information logs. If you like your horror games like Aliens, you'll love this. Okay, I guess we're going back down. This is the way we came, yes, okay. Slow that down. Recharge my stasis. Okay. This place looks huge, guys. The scale and everything is just amazing. Ah, crap. Die. 
grab the gold credits with the credits you can upgrade your guns and your your suit for better protection that sort of thing there's a tram over there look Isaac you still need to find the data board to the tram computer it's in the maintenance bay maintenance bay okay Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside. Chopped his legs off. Okay, there is a little button somewhere you press and it shows you, uh, it highlights your route. Okay guys, so the touchpad will uh, select your weapons as well. Okay, we're back in here. Save the game. I'd rather have a game saved than die and have to, uh, Redo certain levels. That's not good, there's blood there. Okay, am I full? I'm full, I think. Stomp him. Make sure he's dead. Is it dead yet? One more, do you think? Here's an arm. Here's a leg. Here's his head. I think he's dead now. Okay, guys, there is a button you can press that will highlight your next objective. I can't find it on here. I don't know which uh, button it is. And the game's got like a melee system as well, you can melee the aliens if you want to, if they get too close. You hold down your right trigger lock and you can melee them. Okay, maintenance bay. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. That guy come in. Stop running, it's dangerous in here. You'll hurt yourself. I need a key. Oh, 
Oh, that guy! Who sounds! Okay, you can shoot the explosive, there's one in there, look. Die. Oh. If you've got a bad heart condition, guys, do not play this game. Like I said, it was scary pancake mode. It's even worse in VR. Okay, we need to activate that thing. Okay, I don't have a plasma gun yet. Let's go to the air. I can hear you. I hear your screams. dead? He's dead. You're not dead. Always check behind you in this game. These monsters will use the vents. Found some data. You can hear them creeping around as well. It's quite unnerving. Can we go in here? Okay guys, so in here we can upgrade our suit and our weapons. Let me just um, check the drawers. That's my health. Let me uh, just do my health. Okay, I've used some health, so... I've got some room now. Uh, is this a schematic? Yeah, you pick up schematics for new weapons. If we go to the workbench now, I should be able to. Um, I might be able to make a new weapon. I might be able to increase the armor of my suit. Upgrade bench look. Okay, so. I'm using the uh, plasma cutter as my main weapon. 
I'm going to add more bullets. And I'm going to add more damage if I can. I've used all my nodes. I've got no more nodes left. So if I go to my rig, which is my suit, I don't have enough luck. But I can upgrade my suit for more health, more oxygen. There are times in this game, guys, where you might be in space, so getting oxygen is uh, an option as well. That's it, Isaac. Take the board back to tram control and plot it into the computer array. That should get the tram to come back online. Ah! So, I mean, these things are scary when they sneak up on you like that. You have to use sound to try and judge if they're around. Can we go back now? I know my good friend Dr. Greg has played this game. He's been live streaming it, guys. So I know he used the uh, option to uh, highlight your objectives. I'm going to have to ask him what the uh, commands were, controls were. Being able to know where you're going is a, a massive benefit in this game. Okay, this should be working now. Tram control computer now online. Okay. Shipwide tram system reinitialized. All trams now operational. Tram arriving at flight deck station. Quarantine lifted. All right, we're on board and heading to the bridge. Good work. Strange. The quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long... You're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die out here. Your lack of confidence in me is duly noted, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do, with or without you. Do we understand each other? Just get us out of here alive. Save the game! Okay, let me bring up my menu, see where we're going. Okay, through there. Okay, heading back to the flight lounge. Okay, it's a bit smoky.
blocked. Oh crap. Ah! Reload! Get the leg off! Don't panic, Mr. Mandarin! I'm panicking, I'm panicking! Die! Okay, is your friend dead? I need some health. I need some health! Okay, we're back here! Back where we started. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's a nightmare up here. No survivors. We're going to try to get the command computer. Wish us luck. Good luck. Okay, I'm going to save the game, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going back to my ship. Can I just say my ship looks amazing? Okay, it's on fire as well. I don't think we're going to be able to take off, do you? I hope there's no monsters on here. Let's go. Oh crap! Crap, crap, crap! Evacuate, evacuate. That looks amazing. Okay, let's kill this guy and then we'll. Where are you going? Not so tough now without your leg, are you? Or your arm. There's more over there. What the hell is happening down there? What happened to the shuttle? That was our ride home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Okay, let me get to the safe point. See you later guys, bye!
In my last video we played Dead Space 1 in VR of Opex. Lots of people have been telling me they tried it and they think it's amazing. So today we're going to try the same method for Dead Space 2. Now if you want to try this for yourself guys I highly recommend you check out my Dead Space 1 video. I'll go into more detail to get this to work. Okay so the first thing you do you run the game at least once. You need the uh, configuration files for Vorpex to hook in. Now we're going to uh, boot up Vorpex and find a profile for the game. Cloud profiles, we're going to type in Dead Space. Okay, as you can see, there's quite a few profiles for Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. The top three profiles are the default profiles that have been created by Ralph, the uh, creator of Vorpex. If you boot up the game with Vorpex running, these are the ones that will hook into the game. So I'm going to select Dead Space 2, click on Import Profile, click on Apply. Okay, now we need to start SteamVR. This is the Steam version of the game, guys. In my last video, Dead Space 1, I showed you how to play the origin version of the game. I brought the game on Steam uh, this weekend, it was only four or five pound. So this is the uh, Steam version, we're going to run Steam VR, run the game, ignore the warning message, okay so Vorpex is attaching itself to the game, I can see the Vorpex logo here look. So now we're going to um, start a new game. As soon as we get to um, a part of the game where I'm in control of the character, we're going to do the FOV fix. So let me record what I can see in my headset. And we're playing the game with the Xbox controller again, guys. Okay, let me start a new game. The uh, 3D is working. I can see a 3D effect. The A count, I'm going to cancel that. Okay, we're going into um, single player. Start a new game. Normal. Okay, guys, so let's go through the uh, intro. Dead Space 2 Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac! Oh god, I'm so sorry Isaac, look at the time difference. Oh, I'll call no, you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're going to decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I'd never... Again, guys, this is just a giant 3D screen at the moment. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting an arranged thing tonight. Isaac. 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 Really nice 3D so far, so away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. this is going to look even better with the you FOV fix. Me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? I found something. 
What did Spoiler. they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay guys, so I might need to run to get to a safe spot before we play the game. Okay guys, we need to run, get to a safe area before we can apply the fix. Wrong way. Okay, now we're safe, we can apply the fix. Okay, let me go to my desktop. Okay guys, we're going to apply the widescreen fix. There's a link in my uh, last video, the Dead Space 1 video. So follow that link, download this file, run it. Don't worry about any um, virus checker things, it's been checked, it's fine. Okay, so now we've got the fixer up and running. Go to settings. Make sure you know what the hotkey is. By default, it's the uh, multiply key. I use the spacebar, it's a lot easier to use. And you need to use this key for the fix to work. Go back to the main menu. I've still got the uh, fixer set up for Dead Space 1. We're going to find Dead Space 2. Uh, game is running, yes, the game is running. Click on the uh, gear icon again. And this time I'm using the Steam version of the game. In my last video, guys, I had to use the Origin version. So this is the Steam version. And we're going to apply the field of view, apply the FOV fix, save the settings, close the window. Now, when we go back into the game, so now if I hit the space bar, you should see the FOV change. There we go. So that's the uh, perfect FOV for the game to play in VR Vorpex, guys. I would highly recommend you do not play the game without the fix running. It's very unplayable. Again, we're playing the game in most of the screen mode. So basically, I'm playing the game on a giant 3D monitor. It looks amazing. You can see the edge of the screen, but once you're inside the game, guys, the edge of the screen tends to fade away. And with Vorpex, if you don't like that, you can bring the screen closer to your face. Okay guys, so if I bring up the Vorpex menu, with the fixer running, you have to hold down the uh, left thumbstick to bring up the Vorpex menu. Now in this menu, the game is running in full VR mode, which I find a bit jarring, so I'm going to select Immersive Screen Mode. Okay, that's a lot better. So in Vorpex, guys, I've selected Immersive Screen Mode. Um, and at the moment, I'm in front of me is a giant 3D monitor. And it's looking really, really nice. So, okay guys, I'm going to play a bit of game. This is my first time playing the game in VR of Orpex. I'm going to record um, the game itself. 
just make sure guys if you're using the Vorpex profile it puts you directly into full VR mode it looks a bit jarring um, I don't like it to be honest so make sure you hold down the left thumbstick on your gamepad bring up the Vorpex menu right at the top of the Vorpex menu it will say full VR and there's a drop down box make sure you do the drop down box and select either immersive screen mode or cinema mode myself I prefer immersive screen mode and it will put you into a giant 3D screen Dead Space 1 was amazing in immersive screen mode guys and I highly recommend you play Dead Space 2 immersive screen mode as well like I said you soon forget about the uh, I can see the edge of the screen but you soon forget okay chapter 1 the uh, 3D looks amazing so this is the first time I've played this game in VR I have completed the main game Pancake a few times save my gameplay okay my game is saved That's not good. Okay, what was that noise? Okay, so let me show you my settings in the game before we start. I'm going to change some settings here, guys. Okay, in the settings, we're going to um, visuals. Okay, so I've got the resolution on 1920. V-Sync, uh, we're going to turn that off. Okay, graphics quality, let me change this to custom. Okay, bloom is on, glow's on. Blur, I want to turn blur off. Motion blur off. I'm going to leave everything else alone for now, guys. If you have any performance problems, start to go into your options menu, turn things off like bloom, glow, that sort of thing. Okay, we're going to accept. Okay guys, so I've got the graphics settings on very high now. I can see a massive difference in the quality of the graphics already. Yeah, the lighting effects in here are superb. The lighting's in 3D, it looks amazing guys. Okay, dead body there. Can we stomp still? Okay, so a lot of my controls are not working yet, guys. This is Director Tideman to all project personnel. I want the key subjects terminated and the facility scrubbed. This is not a drill. Tideman out. So in this game, you have to unlock stomping, melee, that sort of thing. This is incredible. Dead Space 1 is amazing, guys. This looks just as good. That's Dead Space 1. The 3D with the FOV fix is amazing. It really adds to the atmosphere and everything. Okay, as you can see, look, I can control the camera slightly behind Isaac with my head. But for the majority, I'm turning the camera around with my uh, thumbsticks. I'm playing the game like I'd play the game on a, a normal flat screen. Well, this is 3D. Okay, these are like cells. Dead Space 2 takes off where Dead Space 1 ends. I would highly recommend you finish Dead Space 1 first. I'm here to help you. Okay, some more cells down here. Let me check out these cells. 
happening in here? Simmel's whispered to me. And what did the Simmel's whisper to you? Come on, Strauss, what? He was just smart. He was just smart, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what he looks like, but I can't remember. The symbols, Strauss. What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Subject is Nolan Strauss, session 158. So I need to find a way to um, get out of my strengths. This corridor looks amazing. Now if you play games like Alien Isolation in VR with the Mother VR mod, this is a very similar experience guys. It's very similar vibes. Very similar look of the game as well. Graphically. Hello? Oh crap. And the game looks super sharp on the Rift S guys. So if you've got like an Index Reverb G2, a Quest 2, this is going to look amazing. We can both get out of here. Just just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. There's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. Thank you. You should grab them. Thanks for your help, mate. Go ahead. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Grab the flashlight. Have we got some health? Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Okay, that's not great. Okay, so my uh, up and down is back to front on my controls. I need to change that in the options. Okay. Okay, that's better. Clark! Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Okay, so if I hold down the right thumbstick, guys, I get like a location device. That shows me where to go. Is he dead? Okay, it's a bit dark in here. Lots of dead people in here. Oh 
And this game is really scary in the uh, noise department. Okay, where are we going? Follow the breadcrumbs. Save the game. Always save the game, guys. This game's really, really hard. And the game's a lot harder in VR as well, so just bear that in mind. I tend to play these types of games in VR with Orpex on easy mode because the game's hard anyway. Okay, we need a weapon. And this game's a totally new game in VR. You normally don't see all the detail, all the pipes hanging down from the ceiling. This looks super, super cool. And if you're crying out for VR type, what happened there? Okay, some sort of flashback there. If you're crying out for more AAA type VR games, guys, not a lot on offer at the moment, so Warpex is a good uh, replacement, a good way to um, play these types of games still in VR. Oh crap. This looks amazing. The smoke effect, the lighting, claustrophobic, super cool. Oh crap. That gave me a heart attack. Okay. Little jump scares like that do give you uh, goosebumps, guys. This is incredible. Can I have a weapon, please? Isaac, what happened? Are you alright? Why are you helping me? If Tideman finds you, more people will die. Including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. Okay, I've got a weapon. I've got a kinetic device, I can grab objects. And in this game you can grab spears. Okay, I've got a spear now, look. So I can use these spears as a weapon. Break the glass. Crap, something's coming. Grab a spear quick. Uh. Oh, oh. Any more? Is he dead? Boy, stomp on them, you can grab loot. Ah, oh, crap! Shit, let me jump. Press A, press A! Flash it, okay, grab the... Grab a spear, quick. Where did he come from? Any more? My health's really, really low. Is he dead? This is scary as hell. Stomp on him. Grab the money, I need health. Okay, we broke the glass, so we're going this way. Are you dead? Sounds and everything. Hurry up and open. Quick, open, quick. I'm scared. Ok, 
Okay, grab the... Okay. Grab the health. Let's get some health. Health boost. Okay. I don't remember this place being so dark. Okay, he's dead. Oh, get, get the pipes, get the pipes. Ah. Come on, come on, mate. There we go, spike him. Okay. No more, no more down there. Okay, where's my weapon? I need to find the uh, pole. Let me go around here. There are weapons in the game, guys. At the moment, I'm having to use these uh, poles. Look, he's got like a screwdriver. I think I've got a screwdriver. Okay, let me grab that pole. There we go. I feel safer with the pole. Make sure they're dead. Grab some more health. Pretty cool I can throw the uh, bad guys around as well. Where's my spike? There it is. Plenty of spikes here. So we need to make our way down here, don't we? Let me just check. Let me just check this. Okay. Okay, we need to find a way down there. Is he dead? Create the container. And you can use the enemy's uh, body parts as a weapon lock. I picked up a spike off of this enemy. I can now shoot that as a weapon if I want to. Let me go for the uh, spike. Okay, so we're in some sort of medical facility. Melly! Is he dead? He's dead now. Grab all the cash. Okay, he's shouting. He's been attacked by an alien. Can we save him? my weapon. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Jesus, man. Help me. Would you fucking help me? Okay, I'll try. Calm oh, down. You're a doctor. I'll cut you out of there. 
Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh crap, quick hurry up! Fuck! What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying! Help! I'm trying! I'm trying! Hurry up! And come in. Like I said, guys, this game is scary as hell. Is he dead? Okay, let's kill this thing. Okay. Let me search for some loot. Grab all the credits. With the credits, guys, I can upgrade my weapons. And I can upgrade my suit as well. I don't like the music. The music's a bit creepy. So I've got my main weapon back. This is my uh, the main one of the main weapons. And you can change the angle of attack look. It's like a laser cutter. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I yes, know. I know. A lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Okay, any dead bodies, stomp on them. Just make sure they're dead. Save the game as well. Like I said, the game's quite brutal, so make sure you always save the game. Now, if you want to play Dead Space 3 in VR with Warpex, guys, the FOV fixer does not work. You have to uh, manually adjust the FOV for it to work. My good friend VRAN, he does a lot of Warpex videos. If you reach out to him, he'll tell you what to do to change the settings to get the FOV to work. The fixer that you saw me using in this video works for Dead Space 1 and 2. And it works fantastic, guys. Again, guys, I can't stress enough do not play this game if the FOV fixer is not working. Crap. Oh, what's that? Something fall. Something here. One behind me. Certainly. Okay, run, 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 run. Got some health. I'm dead. Just like that. Try again. Okay, so we know there's uh, bad guys in here. Okay, one came from behind me. So where did he come from? There he is. Okay, one down. dead. Uh. 
Okay, are we safe? Where are we going? This way? I'm going to search everywhere for loot though. Pick up health packs, that sort of thing. This is locked. Something on the floor here. In this game, guys, ammo is your friend. Make sure you get all the ammo. That door's locked. We are going this way. Got some health. Thought I saw something move. Where's he gone? Isaac, Isaac. Wait for me! Come on, Isaac. Oh, no. You swine! Isaac, remember me. Patient five. Patient five, remember? Patient five. He locked me in. Can I have something? Stop sneaking up on me! Take that! Huh. How many? This is terrifying. Oh no, not more! Stay dead! This is one scary game, guys. It might not look scary for you guys Dana. watching. Dana. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! Okay, where are we going? This way? <laughs> the sounds... What's this place? Oh 
Okay, we're going to hack. Okay. Oh crap. Dead. One hit, one kill. Okay, so this is telling me to use the uh, stasis module. Okay, so let me grab the module. One. Aim them wide to slow them down. So now I've got the option to slow down the uh, enemies. Let me recharge my suit. Okay, we're going this way. How do we get through there? All right, okay. Okay, mate. I love the atmosphere in this game. So creepy, so cool. I actually feel like I'm inside the game now. I forgot about the um, seeing the edge of the screen in my uh, at the edge of my vision. I think we're going the right way. Elevator to patient care. Okay, we made it. What the fuck? Oh, I remember this bit.
Volatile gases. The effects in this room guys are amazing, there's water gushing through the vents, there's like uh, flames there in the corners, pipes in my face there. Normally you don't see this detail in the normal game, see all the pipes in the ceiling, everything's in 3D, everything's got perfect depth. This is a must play. If you've got the game on Steam and you've got a real headset. And you got Vorpex guys, uh, the Dead Space series is a must. Save. Oh! <laughs> Save the game. Okay, let me grab the loot first. Got the power core. The power core will allow me to. Um, Give myself better armor. Save the game. Okay, so now we can upgrade our suit and our weapons here. Welcome to my crystal. CEC engineer Isaac. Okay, so I can actually. There's a rivet gun there. I could buy that. Buy the rivet gun. Okay, so now I can choose my. Uh, I've got like a rivet gun now. Look, fires out rivets. Let me save again. I've got a new weapon, so I'm going to save the game. Warning: decompressed area beyond this point. Vacuum suits are required for entry. I need to find a suit. Okay, hazard suit, engineering suit. Which suit should we go for? Hazard suit. Okay, I brought the hazard suit, guys. There's a head on the floor down there. That's quite ominous. Now we're talking. Okay. Okay guys, we're outside in space. Wow, look at this place. That's not good. Ugh. Shoot him with a rivet gun. Can I kill it? Okay, can I shoot his little leg? I need some stasis. Okay, 
here we go. Got some stasis. Okay. Get behind it. My health is low. I don't know how to kill this thing. Can I electrocute it on here? And we're dead. Oh, that's gruesome. Oh, I think I'm dead. Okay, I need to shoot its arm. That was gross. Okay, so we need to freeze it and shoot its arm. Okay, shoot his arm there, look. Okay, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like being shot in the arm. Run! Crap. Okay, that's one. I need some more stasis. He's not happy. My uh, control is vibrating like mad. Okay, we've got someone. Uh, I missed. Shoot his arm! Okay, he's two down. Got the ammo, I need some more stasis. Is he dead? Did I kill it? Oh! No, he's not dead. Grab some more stasis. Got some more loot. I need some health. Let me uh, boost my suit up. Got the ammo. Okay. Fully recharged. I need a safe spot. Okay, so we need to... Oh, 
Oh, here we go. These sections remind me of Alien Isolation. And they are just as scary, guys. Okay, into a cutscene there. Chapter 2. Okay, I can buy some more weapons. Uh, javelin gun. Seeker shells. Let's go for the line gun. Sell the uh, gold semiconductor. Okay, I've got another new weapon. Here we go, look. This does a uh, major damage. I've got five shells for it. Workbench, I can uh, configure my uh, suit. I can add armor. So I use the uh, plasma cutter quite a lot. I'm going to see about upgrading it. Uh, more damage. Okay, so more damage and carry more ammo. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to do my suit. Add some more health. So we need to go down this way. Add some more hit points. I've upgraded my suit, upgraded my main weapon. I need some more health. There we go, my health is healed. So let me uh, go and find her. Here we go guys, we're outside. We're in like a space station, look. Look at this place. That looks incredible. This is like Blade Runner. And this is one of the views I wanted to show you guys. Die. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Wow. Off with his head! That's not good. Okay, I've got a power node for that door. Okay, secret room. Grab all the goodies. Save the game. See you later, bye! This is my final video in the Dead Space series. Today we're playing Dead Space 3 in VR with Warpex. Now if you watch my Dead Space 1 and 2 videos, I featured a FOV fixed program and that allowed me to change the FOV for the game. This FOV change is essential for playing these games in VR with Orpex. 
I would highly recommend do not play the games in Vorpex without the FOV fix guys because the normal field of view is too claustrophobic. Unlike Dead Space 1 and 2, the FOV fixer does not work with Dead Space 3. So we're going to have to configure some files manually, which we're going to do right now. Now the first thing you need to do, make sure you run the game at least once because you need the configuration file for Vorpex to attach to. So run the game, set the game to like Windows mode and then quit the game. Now we need to apply the FOV fix so we need to find the files on our PC. I'm running the Steam version of the game so I'm going to go to my C drive, my Windows drive, um, go to users, go to your username, app data, local, find EA games and then select Dead Space 3. And in this folder you need to find the system.txt file. I've done a backup of the file in case I make any mistakes. Simply open the file and you're looking for the FOV. So if you scroll down here you'll see Windows FOV scale equals 1.0. That's the normal FOV which is about 90. We want 130. So it's about 1.8. So in the Windows FOV scale change that number to 1.8 and then save the file. Now we need to uh, boot up Vorpex, go to Cloud Profiles and type in Dead Space. Dead Space 3, the top one is the uh, default profile for the game that's been designed by Vorpex. I'm just going to check see if there's any more. There's other profiles here, my good friend uh, Vran aka Rainmate has made a profile for the game lot. He missed the screen mode again um, and he mentions here how to tweak the FOV file which I'll just show you how to do. So I'm going to use his uh, profile for now. We need to import the settings, click on apply. Now we need to boot up SteamVR and run the game. Now in this video guys I'm going to tell you what I can see, what I can feel, how good the 3D is, that sort of thing. So Steam is running, we're going to boot up the game and we should see Vorpex attach itself to the game. Now this is going through the origin loader guys, uh, Vorpex has got the ability to exclude that program. If you have any problems with the origin launcher guys Make sure in Vorpex you go to excluded programs and you've got origin in here. So if I go down to O, there we go. Origin is in the excluded programs and they should be in there by default. If they're not, just make sure you add them to the uh, excluded programs. Okay, so now we can see that Vorpex has attached itself to the game. I'm going to jump in, start a new game, and it's working in my headset, guys. Okay, so a quick look at these settings, guys. These are the settings for the game. Visual should be on high. VSync is off. Uh, we're on windowed mode. You need windowed mode for 3D to work. Graphics quality is on custom, and I do believe everything's on high. I turn blow off. Okay, so let me start a new game. This is my first time playing the game in Vorpex, guys, so this is all new to me. Solo campaign. I'm going for casual because uh, it's really hard in VR anyway. I have completed the game pancake mode in the past. Dead Space 3. Oh. 
I can see the 3D guys. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoint I sent you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Do, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, oh, it's lost. What? Dang it. Okay guys, so we're inside the game. I'm just going to check my uh, Vorpex settings. What's that say? Press and hold B. That's my waypoint finder. Okay, so I'm going to have a quick look at the Vorpex settings. See if I can tweak anything. Okay, so we've got immersive screen mode, geometry 3D. The 3D strength's on 1.0. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, 3d strength up a little bit give myself a lot more 3d depth okay so I've turned the 3d strength up from 1.0 to 2.70 and the 3d is really popping out a lot more now guys and I'm going to save my profile for this one okay I've saved the game now so I've had a lot more 3d to the game Now I'm using uh, VRAN's profile, so you guys might want to try the the normal Vorpex 3 profile. Um, yeah, VRAN's uh, profile is really minimal 3D. Um, by boosting the uh, 3D depth to 2.70, the 3D is really standing out now for me, and this is how I prefer to play these games. Okay guys, you can see that the FOV fix I changed in the config file is working. If it wasn't working, right now I'd be behind the character just above his shoulder. But as you can see from the video, lots of space to my left and right. So I've got plenty of FOV here. Okay, let me do my Pathfinder and we're going this way. And again I'm using the uh, Xbox controller to play the game guys. three D is really really nice here okay it's really interesting guys the uh, characters in 3d the world's in 3d but the snow effects the snow effects are just like a 2d effect it's really really strange but we're heading this way okay follow the waypoint let me just check that I'm recording okay for you guys. VRAN's profile actually curves the screen a little bit. So it's like having a giant 3D screen that curves around your face. If I look to my right, I can now see the edge of the screen. And if I look to my left, I can see the edge of the screen. And once you're playing these games in VR with Orpex, you forget about the uh, top and bottom of the screen. You become 100% immersed in the actual game itself. You feel like I feel like I'm just behind Isaac in the actual game. And we're walking through this amazing snowy landscape. Okay, this is looking really nice. This looks amazing, guys. Okay, that's telling me to run. Wow. That's impressive. That's a long drop. Look at this ship. Hey, Doc. I found it. Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. And you only get this sense of scale in VR, guys. This uh, spaceship looks amazing, so huge. Isaac looks amazing. There are a few artifacts around his face with the lights. 
so I might be able to change that with the uh, let me go into the settings let me change some settings here in the visuals okay I'm going to start to turn things off like depth of field and glow and bloom I think it's the bloom that's um, offsetting with Vorpex at the moment so I tend to turn a lot of the effects off when I play these games in Vorpex if you have any problems guys start with the bare minimum turn everything to low and slowly start to turn things up make sure the game's looking really really nice okay that looks a lot better yeah the artifacts have gone on his face now okay That's a really cool view down there. Okay, stomp. Finally, some ammunition. Okay, reload. Okay, we're going in here. Okay, we need to open the door somehow. Break the latch. Oh. Made me jump. Uh, that's not good. for a cylinder about half a meter long do you see it okay so there are artifacts with the shadows guys I'm seeing like a double shadow on the floor so that's something I might need to look at let me uh, check the settings again okay I missed some settings so if I scroll down look motion blur off post processing off and I need to turn shadows off Flares off. Distortion off. Shadow quality. Let me turn that right down to the low. Decals off. Shadow quality off. Let me try that. And as you can see guys, it's all a matter of tweaking everything. Okay, that's better. So, I've got rid of the shadows guys. There's no more shadows, but this looks a lot better. I was getting like a double image with the shadows, turning the shadows off. And me, to me, the game still looks amazing anyway. Um, I don't notice the um, shadow detail. I think I need to change my uh, Y axis though. I've got a feeling the way I play these games, let me just check. I'm going to change my Y axis. Uh, controls, we're playing on the gamepad. Invert Y axis. Let me try on. Same with flight, okay. Try that. So I'm trying to configure the game to play the way I'd play the game as if this was just a normal pancake game. So if I'm playing like a game on my PlayStation 5 guys, I've configured my controls now so all my controls are working like I'm playing a PlayStation or console game. And you can play this game with a mouse and keyboard. Okay, we're going in here. It's a bit dark. Stay back. Is he dead? This looks amazing, it really, really does. Stay 
you're dead. Ah! Ah! Stomp on his head. Ah! Christ. Get out of the blue. Already I'm getting jump scares. I'm not even started guys, but these games are so scary in 3D. Because everything looks so real. Can I uh create that crate? No, I can't. Okay, I f What's that noise? Okay, let's go up here. Wow, that's scary. That's a long way down. Oh crap! Jim, where are you? Hey Doc, I'm, I'm hanging from a cliff. But I got whatever this is. The codex. It's the key to saving everything. This looks cool. How do I jump? This looks epic guys in 3D. Absolutely stunning. All these objects are actually coming past my head. <laughs> wow. Oh, move. I need to move out of the way. Are we safe? Did we make it? Are we safe? <laughs> Who's that guy? Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano. These characters, guys, in 3D look so realistic. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. It's, it's like having a real person in front of me. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, some really good effects with the light from the fire. It's all 3D. Data purged. That was a really cool effect how you went inside the device. Okay, that's impressive, guys. See, these sort of things in 3D look amazing. Playback, message 34. Isaac, I know you're there. Come on, pick up the phone. Fine, look. I just called to say I'm moving on. 
I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? Oh, that was in my face. Something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government. Made Even his beard is in 3D, guys. I can see all the stubble here. on his on his chin. No. No. I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie. Where is she? What'd you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time, gotta go! She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! Here. Let's get moving. Chapter 1, Rude Awakening. Okay, use the med pack. Okay guys, so the FOV for me at the moment still looks a little bit claustrophobic. And I think the reason is that VRAN's a profile. He's got this curved screen really close to my face. So I'm going to um, move the screen a bit further away from me. See if that makes any difference. So hold down the left thumbstick to get the Volpex menu. Unfortunately, you guys can't see this menu uh, because it's only visible in my headset. So I'm going to tell you what I'm changing here. Um, I've gone to immersive screen mode and I've gone to more immersive screen settings. Screen distance is on minus 1.00. I'm now going to change those settings. So I'm putting the screen distance to 000. zero, zero. Okay, so the I've moved the screen a bit further away from my face and I've got a bit more FOV guys. It's not so claustrophobic. I'm also going to turn the screen curvature off. He's got it on to 3.0, so I'm, I'm now playing with the screen curvature. Okay. I've now got the screen curvature on 1.50. And for me, that looks uh, a bit better as well. A bit more FOV. So I'm just tweaking the uh, VRAN settings. Like I said guys, try the default Dead Space 3 profile. It should just be a, a default profile, no tweaks. And it might look a bit better than this one, I'm not sure. In this video, I haven't got the time to go back and mess around. So I've, I've saved those uh, settings. I just got a message in Vorpex saying that the camera FOV has been changed by Vorpex. This change probably requires a game restart. That's telling me that Vorpex has changed my FOV settings in the configuration file. If you don't want Vorpex to change the configuration file, guys, you know how we changed the FOV to 1.8? Vorpex has now changed that setting. So to stop that from happening, once you save that file, right click on the file and make sure there's a little tick box that says read write. Make sure that's ticked. And then when you save the file, that will prevent Vorpex from overwriting it. Uh, but this is uh, this is very playable now. Look at that view. That's amazing view. Okay, this is the bathroom. Okay, I said I'd help you. Now where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later.
Yeah, this is fantastic, guys. I feel like I'm in Blade Runner. Hey. Who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left. The city outside looks amazing. Okay, that's not good. Crouch, press the right stick to crouch. Okay. I need some ammo. Oh, that was nice. Good shot. Give me your ammo. I don't want your ammo. Okay, avoid the searchlight. <gasps> Incoming! Run! Crap! That made me jump. Why are they trying to kill us? You! They're trying to kill you! What? Get, get out of there! Shut your trap! Okay, we need to avoid the light. Run! Ladder. Why are these fanatics after You've me? You've destroyed markers in the past, I think that makes you a direct threat to their plan. Plan? Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Convergence? Yeah, Ellie thinks you can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. Okay, workbench. Grab all the loot. I need ammo. So at the moment guys, the FOV in this game is not as wide as the ones in Dead Space 1 and 2. So I think I need to tweak the file a bit more. In fact, I've got a feeling Vorpex has overwritten that file I made. Okay, so I'm going to find a save point and then I'll check the file. This guy up there. Headshot. cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for anything. That's scary. I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across. Okay. See if I can remember how to do this one. 
Okay. That worked. We made a mess. It worked. Is it free to cross now? Oops. Yep. I need to get some more stasis. Let me uh Let me get a boost. Crap, you're after me. Run. Where are we going? This way? This looks amazing guys with the light effects in 3D. Weapon switch, okay. So I've got a gun. And I've got my uh, trusty uh, I can hear voices. Uh, this is not good. Are you dead? Brothers and sisters, the age of man is out. We have become too many, too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted with our money have squandered. The governments that we once trusted with our future have sabotaged. Norton, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, noticed. Well, why topple the government? Why EarthGov? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers, thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. All of you will lift us up from our miserable existence. This one's still alive. Bring him here. <laughs> Isaac Clark. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? It's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies. And that planet in the background, guys, looks incredible. From me. As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you help make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me... And this is super three. sharp, no. super clear, guys. It's Your just like playing the game on a normal 4K monitor. Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. That beam of light just went straight through my face. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. Get up, mate. I can't remember if this game's got save points. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. He's a medical pack. Is he coming through? Yes. He's on the red, mate. He's on the red. Die. 
And in this game, Ammo is your friend. Yeah, that's stunning with the planet in the background. I'm out. That's good. Are they dead? Always stomp the bodies, make sure they're dead. There's something here. Near it. Stay dead. Those things are quite scary. This game's quite hard, guys, so playing the game on casual mode in VR, I do think the game's a lot harder in VR mode as well. And in casual mode, you've got plenty of ammo, so if you make any mistakes, you've got plenty of ammo, plenty of health. And I just find the game a lot more enjoyable. Okay, we're going around this way. Is he dead? So I mean, they might look dead, but they're not. Okay, stasis. Most full. Isaac, have you reached the extraction team yet? All dead. Dan, it got here first. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. I've not come across any safe spots yet, so I've got a feeling the game is on auto save. This is an emergency drug. For your safety, this area will be locked down to further Stay calm and remain indoors. <laughs> No! Don't lock me in. Let me out. Workbench is not working. This looks amazing with the disco ball. I remember this bit, we get attacked by lots of um, bad guys, don't we? They shoot at me. Change weapons. Freeze. Crap, where do you come from? Run! Ah. 
I've got no more threes, I have. Okay, that little guy's throwing things at me. That looks cool though in 3D. All the spikes come towards you. Stay dead. Okay, get some health. Crap. There we go, that's for my slow-mo. If I was to play this game normal, pancake mode, that would not be scary guys, but in 3D, super scary. Okay, can I reload my gun? Grab all the ammo, okay. In progress. I hate waiting for lifts. If you ever played Alien Isolation, you know why it's not very nice to wait for lifts. Okay, I made it to the train station. What about Danik's men? I lost them in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. Well, grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danik's gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. Okay, I remember this bit. Train assembly incomplete. Please attach engine and fuel car before initiating departure sequence. This is where we need to uh, maneuver the train. Okay, did we pull it this way? That train looks amazing as well. Really, really huge. Please attach fuel car before initiating departure sequence. Then once you clear the city, be ready for pickup. This is going to be tricky. You still haven't told me what happened to Ellie. Now it's not the best time, Isaac. Is she alive? Last I saw her was a keyhole station. She said she was on to something big, shocked out to some secret coordinates, and then we lost contact. I know your ex-girlfriend very well. She's still alive. And Mad as hell, we haven't found her yet. Ah, here comes the cavalry. Short, we 
Which ship is the Eudora? The bigger one that just flew over your head. Reload, I'm struggling to uh, aim here with the train moving. Lost the main battery. Isaac, get your ass up here. I can't aim. Stupid gun. Hurry up. We can't hold them off forever. So the train is moving, guys, and it's really hard to aim. Hey, bad guy. Save me. Captain, I've got it. Take us out of here now. We did it. We made it. Okay, guys. After this cutscene, I'm going to check the uh, configuration file. See if it got changed by Vorpex. Kid, kid. He's leaving behind. He's dead. Dad had killed him and his mother. I'm sorry. Don't be. We're not friends. Well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Garver, I think we get. Yeah. Good. We're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. Okay, that should be a save point. I think the game's been saved. So let me check the uh, config file. Okay guys, I was correct. The uh, FMV had been changed by Vorpex. Um, I don't know if you can see, it looks uh, a bit wider again now. I changed the FMV again. So this time in the uh, settings I changed. Right click on the file. Make sure you tick the read only box. That will prevent Vorpex from overwriting any FMV settings. The way the Vorpex works guys, it will try to uh, give you the best FOV in the game. And I wanted to do it manually so that's why we configured the file. Uh, but this is looking really really nice again. So this is working great now guys, I've got a bit more FOV. Alright everyone listen up. 13 days ago Agent Ellie Langford and her team attempted a blind shock to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secret to stopping this marker epidemic, but we've been unable to make contact. Our number one priority is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team. This looks amazing. In Vorpex games, guys, FOV is your friend. 15 seconds to target. Standing by to D-Shop. All right, people, we're going in blind, so stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. D-Shocking in five, four, three, two, one. Cool. What the hell is that? Moon left of one. Frozen! I see it! Christ, this 
place is a junkyard. It's more like a graveyard. Any sign of Ellie's ship? I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. You serious? They'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait. I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship. Dead I ahead. can't stress, guys, how the cool CMS the 3D is. It could be Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, sir. Those lights. Are they beacons? Hang on. No. My! Rosen, get us out of here! Collision warning. Brace for impact. I can't. That's not good. This is epic guys, it really really is. Oh, this is brilliant. Superb guys. So for you guys who um, don't think this is proper VR, you really are missing out. Okay, where are we going? Run. Yeah, get the suit. Put it on. These effects are just amazing. Oh, grab your helmet, mate. You're floating in space now. So this feels more like Lone Echo now. Okay, we're floating. What now? I'm gonna try to free it from out here. Boost. Okay, where are we going? see the room. Rosen, Locke, brace yourselves. Once I release the clamps, it's gonna blow us clear of your door. Everyone find something to hang on to. Okay guys, this is a thrill ride. This is cool. I can't slow it down. Try to steer towards me. I can almost reach you. Whoa, mine, uh. mine. Okay, I can shoot, can't I? Uh. Shit, through the hole. I missed. <laughs> Slow it down! Try to steer towards me! I can almost reach you! Whoa! Mine! Mine! Can we shoot the mines? Try not to hit this hole! We made it! Isaac! Where are you? I'm coming! Just hang on! This is terrifying. All this debris coming towards me! Mind the metal. Hey, watch it! Watch it! I can't see around it. 
They punch through it! Oh no! Oh no! I got it! I got it! Get it under control! <sighs> I'm full thrusters! Uh, it's slowing! Uh, okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Jesus. Let's not do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. Yeah, this looks like Lone Echo now. Okay, where are we going? This way. So I need to be really careful of my oxygen. Oh god, it looks like the power's out everywhere. There's no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. I'll see if I can get inside. Okay, press B, turn. Well, we've got air. <laughs> Dust. Any sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. All is lost. Really dark in here. At least we've got ammo. I can see the light coming off his helmet now. You see that? That's the light shining through his helmet. Okay, I've got a frame to make a new weapon. That's super cool. It's getting hard to breathe. How much longer? Yeah, we're working as fast as we can. Mark's really pale. I can't stop the bleeding. Yes. Hey, Isaac, okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. All right, there, now get in here. Give me a hand. Isaac, Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen in lock. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. Hey, don't stray too far. That's an order. Okay. Going this way. Picked up a Tesla core. So in this game, guys, you can create new weapons. Someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. No. Can we cut through it? No. It's too thick. But it might cycle open if I can power it. That did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? Okay, we oh, can now create a weapon. I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah, yeah smart thinking. Okay, blueprints, weapons, upgrades, crafting items, and a safe. Okay, can we uh, can we create this now? Okay, so I think I've crafted a new weapon. Okay, guys, so I made a new weapon here. Look, oh, it's like a shotgun. Okay, so where we're we going? This way.
that noise? Pretty scary in here. All the weird noises. Are they? Are they dead? No, they're not dead. Okay, time to try out my new weapon. Pretty powerful. And this gun's got like a secondary on it. Look at that. Shotgun blast. Hey guys, we're in trouble. What is it? What's going on? I just got jumped by what's left of the crew. What? No one could have survived out here that long. They didn't survive. They got turned into those things. What do we do? You keep your weapon ready, you stay the hell away from the ventilation ducts. If they get close, the lips. You got that? I said you got that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, move these out of the way. It's a bit dark in here. So this looks like the old theatre from the uh, Dead Space 2. Oh, I heard you. Stay down. Stay down. One more somewhere. Take that. Shotgun's really powerful. Ah. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Any more? What is that thing? These corridors look amazing in 3D. You really see the depth of the corridors here. These guys on the ceiling really stand out as well. I love the combat in this game. Ugh, now the only reason why this game was not as popular as number one and number two is all the microtransactions. This game was rife with microtransactions and it killed the game basically. Okay, there's a circuit there I can upgrade to but I've got no more room in my... Got no more room. Can I use a health pack? Okay. Go this way. Crossover too. Take that thing coming! Sir, we're running low on ammo! Make a barricade! Just keep them out a little longer.
That guy. Hey, that. He's dead. If they drop ammo, you know they're dead. Yeah, the uh, sense of flying in this game feels just like Lone Echo. Ouch. Now, the only problem with this game is when you land, the button you press also brings up the Vorpex menu, so... You have to uh, press it a few times. But apart from that, guys, it's manageable. If you've never played a Dead Space game in VR guys, I highly recommend you check them out. Play the first game, see if you like it, see if you like the uh, perspective, the 3D, the giant 3D screen. Norton, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Alright, I think that's holding them for now. Good. The SOS is coming from directly above me, and it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, it should unlock the crossover for you. Alright, what about you? Uh, there's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. And if you like number one, guys, you're going to love this one as well. I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bad guy, I can hear bad guys. Where are they? Stay back. One behind me somewhere. That's crap. One more somewhere. Hey, Dad.
Okay, power's on. Crossover just opened up. You're welcome. Rosen, lock, you stay put. Isaac Carver will rendezvous with the spire. Got it. Die. Spawn of Satan. Is he dead? Are you up left? See you later guys, bye!